Hello and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit a PDF file in Adobe Acrobat Reader DC Pro. So, and this would also include like adding um, internal links as well as external links or even hyperlinks. Okay, so it's going to be a complete tutorial, and please stay tuned till the end. You will not regret it. Okay, so like I said to edit a PDF or even add hyperlinks and uh, internal links and all of that you would need Adobe Acrobat Reader DC Pro so please make sure if you are using the free version please make sure you upgrade before you continue but you might try who knows probably um, the apps keep changing if maybe uh, PDF editing uh, functionalities are now enabled in in the free version i'm not sure so please try anyway but in case it's not working you will have to upgrade to the pro version all right so assuming i have this pdf right here on the desktop and i want to edit it so i can just open it with my adobe acrobat reader dc pro in case in my case adobe acrobat reader is my default PDF reader so I just need to double click on it as you can see you can even see Adobe logo on it but in case it's not your default logo sorry your default um, PDF reader then you have to right click on the PDF in question and come and click on open with then select Adobe Acrobat Reader DC so let's do that and now I have my article opened here and this particular article I want to edit it okay um, all that I just have to do is to simply what over here if I should look right at the at the right hand side here I will find edit PDF so once I click on edit PDF you see that the editing toolbar displays on top here I can simply close the edit PDF toolbar and then I could also click on tools that is in case it's hidden here please come and click on tools scroll down and you find edit pdf right here so you click on edit pdf and it's still the same now once you click on edit pdf your document becomes modifiable one thing that you have to note is that set if, if the document was electronically signed let's say using adobe certificate based signature uh, docusign sign electronic signature or whichever kind of electronic signature and locked after the signature you might not be able to edit that is normal but if the document has not been signed electronically you should be able to edit the document also note that you might not be able to to edit pictures that much you know if you if you have a picture then you might not be able to edit it right but anything that is text you should be able to do it and I also show you how to add internal links as well as hyperlinks and all of that so please stay tuned so we will start with the basic stuff and then uh, graduate so starting with some of the basic stuff that you can do we'll have to do with first of all let's say editing text okay so if you want to edit you can actually add a text box okay if you want to add text then you can just click on add text for instance then you have this text this your case becomes like this or your mouse becomes like this and i can actually add text here just draw a text box and I can type anything that I want to type for instance I can type something like go to go to page 11 later on I'll turn what I've just entered into a hyperlink so for now let's just wait now let me let me close this okay just to make sure that uh, I don't I don't I no longer want to have my Kaiser in that form so let me go back and click on edit PDF again and now like I said later on I'll turn this into an internal link okay so but it's just you know just to basically tell you that I can actually add a text so once you do this you can actually make it bold or do any editing that you may want to do italic whatever you know it's up to you you can also for instance uh, change whatever the 
I don't know what they call this you know the line spacing or whatever if I should increase it to 1.5 you know can increase it to 3 you see that the text is more spaced sorry let me bring it back to 1.5 okay and uh, that kind of thing there are all these things you can increase it if I put hundreds here the text is to put it at 15 whatever so you can do basically some of these petty petty editings to your text and whatever I've just shown you how to insert a text box uh, I don't know what this is about font color so let's assume I select this particular thing here this particular text box here Uh, I don't know. I think this is about font font color. Let's assume. Okay, so this is about font color. I could choose red, and then my text becomes what red. Let me put it back black. Okay. So basically, you can do some of these petty petty editings. And now, what else can you do? If you want to edit the text, for instance, let's assume you want to put, um, you want to change the page numbers, you can actually change the page numbers here. You know, I can actually delete this. If I want to delete this uh, text box, I just select it this way. Sorry, click on it, select it, and then click, press on the delete key. And you have deleted the text. If I want to delete the, the text box itself, then I have to select it. It's a bit challenging, but I should be able to do it. You can also cut it or whatever. If you want to revert your editings, you can simply, I don't know, I, don't, I can't find it. Go back. Okay, let's press this one for instance. No, this is up for rotation. <laughs> Sorry. I thought like uh, that is not activated unfortunately whatever so but we can actually I can actually choose to delete all the page numbers or whatever just delete them delete all the page numbers and do anything that I want to do with the, the this particular text if I want to edit the text itself like community and say blah blah blah. I can type anything that I want to the text. But I don't want to add really type anything. I don't want to really modify the article. Um, in case you want to add, let's assume the pages were not or even numbered, and I wanted to add my own page numbers. You can do that by coming to the header and footer tab here, and come and click on let's say add. You know, once you click on add, and then you can say for instance. Um, to the header you may want to insert a page number so you see that we have left header center header and then right header so let's assume to the top so I wanted to say top right header but that, that's that's total uh, what do you call it tautology because you just we have footer and header right so I'm a bit tired sorry for that so just go to the um, header left header and I just click on let's say if I want to insert date I can do that so let's assume for left header we will insert um, let's insert date rather so we insert date over there and then to the the middle whatever the, the center or oh, we should rather we should do the no let's do it that way to the center header i can put let's say page number there okay of course you can do other modifications and editings but i think for now that is just okay if i hit okay you see that the date is applied and then i have the page number on top over there if i go down the date is always there and everything now what else can we do so we've looked at um, adding text box which we did right here if you want to displace the 
text box you simply select it this way and you can move it drag it wherever you want it to be okay you can actually change the font size if you want control a you select the text and you can actually reduce the font size here let's put 12 for instance so it becomes smaller and then you can also add an image so assuming you have an image on the desktop you just simply click here and then you can browse for your image and bring it inside you know so i don't know what we don't i don't really have any image at the moment but we could have imported the Im an image but that is not necessary for now okay so let's move on what else can i do um I don't know what else I can do so let's say I want to add a link okay or if you still want an I don't I don't see the need actually adding an image but it's just here and you add an image simple the next thing that we can do is to let's say add internal links as well as hyperlinks okay so how do we do that we will start first of all with an internal link if you want to add an internal link simply click over here click on add and edit web here and then for instance i want to change this into an internal link so i'll come simply come and draw you notice that when i clicked here and i select add or edit web or document link my uh, mouse turned into this cross here so i simply come and select the way that i want to link i want to add a link okay and after I do that I'm gonna select invisible rectangle because I don't want any I just want a way to be hyperlinked but without any kind of um, highlight or anything on it I don't want it to be highlighted okay so I just want it to be you know normal and after which I want to add an internal link so what I will say I will make sure I select go to page so i want to say for instance go to as actually said go to page what go to page 11 so i simply click on go to page because i'm to add an internal link click on next and then you see that my just leave the dialog box where it is okay leave it where it is and then scroll down so keep on scrolling down till i get to what page 11. so I'll go to page 11 keep on scrolling down keep on scrolling down scrolling down scrolling down scrolling down sorry page 11 I'll pass page 11 okay here's page 11 so once I get to page 11 I simply click on set link so once I click on set link you see that it has brought me back to what the, the hyperlink uh, sorry the internal link that I inserted now to test whether the internal link is working all i have to do is let's close this uh, this uh, edit uh, menu here so let me close it and now i'll come and click on let's say um i want the mouse whatever the mouse okay let's just come and click on this the arrow the mouse okay and now you see that once i clicked on it i can now click on my hyperlink so if i should click on so my internal link so if i should click on my internal link it brings me straight to what page 11. you see how it is so this is what we call this like this is a very good example of an internal link that i've inserted once you click on the mouse and you come and click on it then you can do that now let's go back to the editing so let me click on the page the edit button again and this time around we're going to see how we can add an internal link i uh, sorry a hyperlink so if i say if i want to say this is my youtube channel okay so maybe I, I can put my youtube channel somewhere here so let me just add i'm just trying to do anything please don't care whether don't really mind whether the, what I'm doing is neat or not I just want to show you the features 
so I can come to let's say Minukun tutorials. That's the name of my YouTube channel, right? Minukun tutorials. Okay, so perfect. Or I can let me make it nicer instead of just saying so I can say youtube.com. dot com slash menukun sorry it's already there so menukun tutorials okay let's assume this is my youtube channel and i want to hyperlink this so once i do this let me just close the tab click on edit pdf once again and then i want to add what a link to it so I just simply click on this link here and click on add or edit web or document link and then I once again I'll select my channel link right here I'll select let's say if I want to let's choose a rectangle this time around I just want some rectangle to surround it so I say visible rectangle uh, highlight whatever let me say invert and then maybe the color let me just pick maybe green and then i would say instead of saying um go to this time around i'll say open a web page so I'll select open a web page because i want to add a hyperlink now I'll click on next once i click on next it asks me for what the url so i simply go to um sorry let me just go to let's say okay, let me just go to youtube.com and this is for instance this is my youtube channel right um i want to go to my youtube channel Okay, so once I once I go to my YouTube channel, I know my URL. I actually have a custom URL, but I want to put. I just want to put it in a more practical sense. So I have decided, for instance, to come for my YouTube custom URL, and I'm going to paste it here. So I just paste it here, and then I simply hit on what. Okay. Now, this is hyperlinked okay with this green line here and if you to prove whether it's working let's close this and if i should click on this arrow here and come and click on this it should take me to my youtube channel let's say allow you see that it has brought me to my youtube channel 